making a barley risotto with the one and only Marilyn Smith now. So we've been talking about barley and how good it is for you. Yes. Uh, it is a super fiber. Super so food, Canadian. Super food. It's Canadian. It's all good. It's on all the check marks. Check, 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 check. You're right. So and it even tastes good when you drink it, but we're not ca talking about that. Are yeah, we, we no, are. Not. Although okay. you keep bringing it up. <laughs> you do. Okay, do. risotto okay. I love. Uh -huh. uh, and it's nice that you can have a healthy Risotto. I know, right? and, and I started doing this recipe about 20 years ago, and so now that it's in you know a lot of uh, high-end uh, restaurants, yes. I think you know I think I created it. But anyway, I yeah, you, you totally started. I totally it. did. I'm they such a trendsetter. You anyway, are. Uh, the, the the deal with it, you know, uh, risotto. Is you got. I love doing this. Risotto. So risotto. You have, ever since she went to Tuscany, I know, she's just, I just a different every, woman. I am. I am. I am. Anyway, um, <laughs> but we. <laughs> We, uh, uh, you gotta stir it, right? And it's, it's yeah. a boreal rice, it's white. Ugh. And so, uh, because if you kind of overcook and mix the barley, it becomes very creamy too. Okay. So it's all those beta glucans coming out to go, hello. Hi. Hello. So, anyway, we're gonna use porcini mushroom, which okay. is a dried Italian mushroom. It comes in little packages like that. And you have to um, uh, put it into boiling water. So, we're gonna, this is, we're gonna pretend it's boiling. And you're gonna soak that for about 15 minutes, okay? Okay. And then we're just gonna set that like that. So, uh, we've already got one that's been done and we'll just turn that off okay goodbye undo it. okay okay good. there Thank we you go very much and then after it's soaked for about 15 minutes and so they're, you're going to drain it and I have a huge step in the what smells uh, so good oh it's the onion it's the onion and garlic oh, it smells oh no no I know it, it, listen if that was a perfume I guys know, would love right? it so much more anyway you smell like a hamburger anyway yeah, okay. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I got that's anyway um, Karen Gordon always says that people stop her and say Marilyn talks about sex all the time. I do. It's true, isn't it? Oh my God. Anyway, okay. So after 15 minutes, you would it. strain it, and I say big step in the it, right in there. Read this first before you do it because people Got have it. dumped it down the drain. You want to save the mushroom liquid. Okay. okay so you're going to save it, okay? And then you chop it all up, and it's chopped like that. All right. right. Meanwhile, you have a, a lovely saucepan, and you're going to saute the onions and the garlic. And I have extra virgin olive oil down there, but it should be canola. I'm going to change it before it All even right. goes onto your website. All right. Because remember, we don't want to cook with the extra version because we're we've gonna, changed. We've changed. We've changed since Tuscany. Since Tuscany. There's Tuscany. no more of that. There's no going back. Okay? okay. So there's our pot barley that's been rinsed. We're going to add it into there and just sort of stir it up to coat it. And also, when you're when you you're sort of toasting it, and when mm. you toast a grain, it gives it another dimension of flavor too. Okay. Yeah, it's sort of a it's nutty, very chefy, isn't it? It is. It's a dimension. Yes, it is. We're going to give it I dimension. I like your language. I like, okay, good. Oh, it's exciting. And then we're going to add our uh, our chopped up porcini mushrooms back in there. Okay. And then there's some fresh thyme, and we're going to throw that in there. And then we're going to add. I'm using uh, lower sodium chicken stock. Okay. Um, you could use vegetable if you want to make this vegetarian. You could totally do that. Um, and then we're going to add that mushroom water back in there. So that's why it's so crucial. It's so that crucial. You keep it because you need you it later for flavor. Oh, and if you dump that out, it's going to taste terrible. Okay. And then when uh, you're going to bring that to the boil, and every so often you can stir it. We're going to put the lid back on, and uh, you can get this recipe on your site. But you can go to uh, gobarley.com, which is the Alberta barley people, and yeah. get more recipes. But okay, when good. this is served, you're going to put on some goat feta. And um, that is a yummy, yummy, yummy thing to eat. That looks fabulous. Food. Yeah, and comfort. do be aware that is a huge portion, right? Oh, that's we serves, just did it for TV. Oh no, no, no. That's that's the whole recipe. That's so, for your you know, entire yeah. family. You would and friends. You would have so much fiber there. You may not leave your home for several days. <laughs> so. Don't be eating yeah, that. Be and then there's there's scones over here too that I didn't get to, but know that barley flour is very heavy, and so it's yeah. not like a scone. It's like a scone. It's a heavy, it's a scone, heavy scone, which okay. to me makes me happy. Okay, okay. so cityline.ca for the recipes. Right, Thank good. you, okay. Marilyn.